Nissan Pathfinder or Frontier with the 4.0 liter engine, oil cooler reseal. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you step by step through the process of sealing up the oil cooler. I'm gonna be using a quality Mala O-ring to reseal the oil cooler. I will link it up in the description of the video. That way if you need to pick this up, you can find it there. To get started, we need to jack the front of the vehicle up. If you're doing this at home, use floor jacks and jack stands on the frame there. And then we need to take off these lower skid plates or splash shields. So this shield is in two pieces. We need to take this front portion off first by removing the 10 millimeter bolts around the perimeter of it. And then underneath it will be some more 10 millimeter bolts we need to get to. We'll take the outer cover off first and then we can work on the inner one. To make quick work of removing all these fasteners, I'm going to use my Milwaukee quarter inch stubby impact here. It makes jobs like this a lot easier. There's quite a few bolts that I'm going to take off around the perimeter here to get these uh, covers off. And this would take forever by doing it by hand. I'll put a link for this tool in the description of the video. Once you get that front cover off, now you have access to the uh, inner bolts here. Go ahead and remove these and then you can go ahead and remove this lower shield. Since we have to take the oil filter off to get the oil cooler o-ring changed, I'm going to go ahead and change the oil, so I'm going to drain the oil. So right here on the front of the motor is the oil filter and the oil cooler. We need to take the oil filter off to get the cooler off, so I'm using a pair of oil filter pliers here. Spin the uh, oil filter off. We're not going to reuse this. We're going to put a brand new one on, so go ahead and take this off. You want to have a drain bucket close by to catch off the runoff oil. Now that you got the oil filter off, our next step is we're going to need a 22 millimeter deep socket. I'm using a flex head ratchet here. And where the oil filter screwed on is actually a bolt. So we're going to put the uh, 22 millimeter socket on here and, and loosen up the uh, center bolt here. And then we're going to spin this out by hand. So if you notice, there's two coolant hoses going to the side of the oil cooler. We're not going to disconnect those. We're going to leave those connected. And basically, we're going to pull it out like this, and then we're going to twist it and flip it over, and then we can get to the O-ring on the back side. So I'm using a pick tool, and I'm going to pick the old O-ring out right here. So now I'm going to clean everything up. So I'm going to use some shop towels, and I'm going to wipe the inside and the outside of the uh, oil cooler here. If it's really caked on there, you can also use a parts cleaner like Brake Clean and you can spray the housing down. You can spray it on the rag and wipe it down. And also all the surrounding areas where the oil has been dripping, I'm going to wipe all that down. And the mounting surface where the, uh, the oil cooler mounts up to the block, I'll wipe that down also. So this is where you want to take your time and do a really good job and get it as clean as you can possibly get it. Uh, any dirt in between the, the ceiling o-ring and the, the block and the oil cooler can potentially cause leaks so you want to get it as clean as you possibly get it now that we got everything all cleaned up I'm gonna flip the uh, oil cooler back over I'm gonna install the new o-ring so there's a little groove that it fits in so you want to just press it in there use your fingers and just press everything in there as you can see here there's a little groove that is sitting in so you want to make sure it's sitting in there nice and flush once you got the uh, O-ring installed, now you can go ahead and flip it back over and just uh, be careful not to knock it off and put it back into position. And now we're going to start the bolt going through the center here. So I'm going to run it in until it's snug and then we'll torque it down. Okay, now that everything is secure and snug on there, now we need to torque the center nut here. We're going to use our 22 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. We're going to torque this down to 36 foot pounds. Once you have the center nut torqued down to 36 foot pounds, now you can go ahead and put a little dab of oil on your new oil filter's O-ring, and then you can go ahead and uh, install the oil filter, just screw it on and hand tighten it. Once you got the oil filter installed, after that we're just going to give it a quick little wipe down, make sure that everything's dry, as clean up as much of the, the air, surrounding area as you possibly can. Now we can take the inner portion of the shield and put that back in place. So you'll line it up with all the little bolt holes and tabs that it came off of. So I like to start a handful of the bolts by hand. Once I got a few of them started by hand and then the cover will hold itself up without putting any pressure on anything. Then I'll switch over to my impact tool and I'll use that to run the bolts and fasteners in. Now that you got the inner portion all bolted up, now we're going to take the outer portion and line it up. There's a couple little uh, little slots where they slide into at the nose. 
So you're going to slide them in there first. And then once you get those slid into position, now you can go ahead and start the, uh, the fasteners and tighten those down. Now that we got this lower shield all secured and tightened back up, we're going to lower the vehicle back down and we're going to put five and a half quarts of oil in it if you, if you drained it completely like I did. If not, you're just going to top it off. So I will link up all the parts and tools that I use in this video in the description. That way, if you need to pick any of those up, you can find those there. I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.